Yeah, <laughs> no land at all. Wow. Better, better to uh, during the stream find the new new places because there were some story when I when I landed on the right hand. I do for you? Anything I can help you with? Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. All right, now we are welcome to Neon. So this is more like cyberpunkish world. Security. Cares far more about what you take with you when you leave Neon than the effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. Alright, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. Smuggle the Aurora into Akira City on New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? Uh, can, can we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayer's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Okay. Move so it. Let's go. Hmm? Apparently we can we can help that guy. application today to become part of the most advanced technology corporation in the settled systems. Mining League. Okay, trade authorities here. There is little question that region has some influence here. I wonder how Mr. Bayou feels about that. Welcome to Reugent Industries. Can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. I suspect this that if I were confined to life in an office like this, someone would end up being stabbed. I hate being stuck in the office. You're more prepared than the last one. Don't tell me you're intimidated by a little office chair.
All right, just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. Okay. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So, let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? It's good to see you're familiar with and appreciate our work here. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? I can't help but wonder if that's why you're here today and not behind bars, considering your track record. And yes, of course we know you have one. Yuko's algorithm at least hasn't failed us there. Your past is not a concern, for now. Just know that we have ways of keeping an eye on you around here. How motivated are you to succeed? Here at Ryujin, that's completely up to you. It's not unheard of for someone like you to reach an executive level position. Uh -huh. Plus, we're pretty good at finding any untapped potential, so if there's a role we know you'll excel at, we'll find it. Well, I like and to finally, shoot things. My last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? I <laughs> don't I make it five months. Uh, yeah, that those jobs do exist as well. Full disclosure, it's all about making deals with the right people around here. You put those skills of yours to good use and choose the right sides. You probably won't be running the place, but you'll be right next to the one who does. Uh -huh. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. Yeah. On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogen Salzo, and you should get served right away. I just think I need to go all in. I don't know we've got you covered. Morning. Okay, hello. Overnight. Thanks for choosing Terra Brew. It's a line. Oh, the Ryujin order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that? I got fired, is what happened. And this is the soulless suit. I knew there's going to, to be a problem. Me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk, getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? You don't even know your own boss's boss. Ularu is Ryujin's head of operations, or resident shark, if you ask me. If she smells blood in the water, you're dead. <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands! Believe me, it's either you or me! I believe you have grossly misunderstood the situation. If you put the gun down, perhaps we can come to an understanding. You wanna talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what, you get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. Don't make me laugh. I pull this trigger, you're dead. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Look, at some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this, that, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. Hmm. 
Let's just say Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's going to see me as a liability. Uh, okay. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again. Okay, and when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Okay. Okay, she's pressing me. So, how about hey, that coffee? No worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer. And the one I was hoping for, since we learned of the incident before your return. Uh -huh. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. First promotion. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? You were right to talk the situation through, rather than letting it escalate. Of course, we believe in risk versus reward here. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary. Okay. You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Yes, you need me? What is it? I am always willing to carry an extra weapon. Or two. Or three. So... Yes. You yeah, get coffee to Andrea. Okay, this is the negotiation room. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. Good. Then it appears we have nothing left to discuss. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Ah, just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Uh, me and an entire department at my back. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? A lot. Oh boy. You're gonna be a real handful. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So, 
Any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. Okay, that's not creepy or anything. That depends on your actions going forward. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Uh huh. Administrator Bayou runs Neon and is on the Free Star Collective's Council of Governors. We have a long standing symbiotic relationship due to the contributions that Ryujin Tower brings to Neon. Let's hope your best is good enough. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Gamden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Ah, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Uh-huh. Somehow I don't believe that. Sometimes it takes uh, drastic measures to ensure we can deliver the best products possible. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. I probably need a company crab or something. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. Not really. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. Well, that's useful. That doesn't surprise me. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Follow me. Let's talk somewhere more private. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. <laughs> Dicky pig. No, I wonder where's this Madame Savage is. I heard they had a breakthrough at the lab recently. Breach of personal treatment products. Seek the odds. Our beds are comfortable and affordable, and with a crime rating of only 16%, your safety is oh, all yeah, the So go out, have your fun, live your best life. Dead, Choice dead accommodations business. at reasonable prices. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. Nope, no catch. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Well, luck might have played a part. But it took a good deal of my own ingenuity as well. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Oh, how nice! His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way.
Red Harvest Reserve. Well, let's make this quick. <laughs> of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Maybe she is serious about this. Ah, uh, thanks. I'm... I'm still collecting my thoughts. Hmm. Maybe so. I... suppose I've overreacted. She was young, and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. Yes. Tell her I will drop the charges immediately and call off the bounty hunters. And I suppose I will seek her out to talk. I may just need a little time to figure out how to say what I need to say. Thank you. Okay, that was surprisingly easy. And now we just hope this mission didn't have a time limit because <laughs> it is a kind of took pretty long time. Okay. Welcome off worlder to the hotel full Your Savage is place. I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou has a slightly inflated view of himself. Ah, uh, you think? Reminds of Star Citizen. Clearly, the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. Shall we follow the signs? Really? Great power. Okay. Men. Fresh, that's a tentacle monster. We have two sides on this station. So I'm looking from the wrong side of the platform. Keep it moving. Riding league. Yep, side. Huh. Looking out for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. Uh -huh. Do your favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. Who? A gang. Worst gang there is. They'll stab you for kicks, taking bets on how long you squeal before you bleed out. And that's not a hyper whatchamacallit. They seriously did that. <laughs> Poor Ted. Hey, it's your ass, not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. 
Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. I mean, yeah, they'll rob you blind, but at least they let you live. They're bad news, but compared to disciples, positive angels. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvage's. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, a chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all? Have a heart. Hey, thanks. I'm sure I like that. Look, I mean it. Go back to the plaza. Ain't nothing but shit and misery over here. If you are free soon, I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. You agreed with me that true purpose can be a driving force in life. I found that comforting. But something has been nagging at me since. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary. That there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And... I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. Thank you. I have always believed, no, hoped, that is true. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... No, that is not what I am trying to say. I... promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home. Jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. It certainly influenced the way I see the universe. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I I might never see them again, with no warning. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea, but therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I appreciate that more than you know. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested, but you're asking almost double to go in rate. What? You think this stuff... from the sky. Look, I've bought a lot on the street before, and I've never paid this much. You know, now it works. Still cheaper than buying it at the Astro So small, smaller now, UI problems. And I'm walking away. With this you game. <laughs> you looking to get zoned? I'll transfer the credits and you can leave. Really? You're just gonna blurt it out like that? Good God. Since it's obvious you're the rook that Delgado sent, I'm gonna save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. 
We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Come on, give me a break. You're not exactly a top dog over there at the key, now are you? Sending me a rook to handle a job this risky is a goddamn insult. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. He has certainly earned quite a reputation. Neon is proof of it. <laughs> Cry me everywhere. All right, all right, I get the point. Let's just get this over with. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm going to make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're going to have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. I'm talking about Jennerdyne's main power plant for Neon. <laughs> All their cushy offices might be up in the Trade Tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. <laughs> beneath your feet, genius. It's the lowest level of Neon. Jennerdyne and Xenofresh are down there, along with some of the finest cuisine in the city. Uh-huh. Some fancy name the brain-trusted Jennerdyne calls the room where all the power from the conduction grid is stored. Cute, right? Hey, don't look at me. I didn't build the damn thing. All I know is that the tech inside the place is valuable. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside, Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. Uh, why? It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. Bayou's office. It might be wireless, but you aren't going to be able to use it from here, genius. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. Ryujin Cloud doesn't mean shit at Jennerdyne. So you're gonna have to deal with Komiko and potentially her boyfriend, Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to okay. the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, She's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Nepotism gets him the job at Jennerdyne as their chief technician, yet the guy doesn't know the first thing about electrical engineering. They obviously invented the position just to give them more on a salary. One of the many poorly kept secrets in Neon, frankly. I think he's such a screw-up. Benjamin Bayou stuck his ass in that facility under the city to keep him out of the limelight. Businesswoman. Tough as hole plating. She's the COO at Jennerdyne, and I can assure you she didn't get there with her winning smile. As for her relationships, well, that's a bit more complicated. Publicly, she's having a bit of a fling with Benjamin Bayou, but rumor has it that she's just using Bayou and having a little bit of fun on the side with Micah, the owner of Euphorica. If I were you, I wouldn't bother trying to appeal to her good nature. She's a manipulative person who uses people to get what she wants. Not much to tell, really. Thanks to their nifty little conduction grid, they're able to provide power for the entirety of Neon. Damn thing was supposed to be some kind of miracle invention, turning lightning into usable electricity. Neat trick, right? That is actually Only catch pretty sci-fi. Only you need a planet like Voli, where lightning strikes often enough to make it feasible. Guess how many of those exist? Ding! If you said zero, you're absolutely correct. 
So Jennerdine has been in dire financial straits for years. You're not the only one. The only reason they haven't folded is because they charge exorbitant fees for power. I'm talking two or three times what it costs in New Atlantis. Okay, now, on to round two of our little game. Guess who has a major stake in Jennerdine and soaks up all that delicious Bet value profit. Put up properly. Ooh, not even close. The answer you were looking for isn't another corporation. It's a person. It's good old Benny Bayou. That son of a bitch has a finger in every single pie in the sorry excuse for a city. Jennerdine's no different. All off the books, of course. How the hell do you think Brayson Bayou got the job down there? It wasn't because of his good looks or smarts. I can promise you that. Pretty laid-back club over in Ebside. Owner's name is Maiko. She's young, but sharp as a razor, and has gang muscle to back her up. The little Aurora lounge she has tucked away in the building is the real gold mine. Said she modeled it after opium dens on older. Yeah, no, just Bayou takes one. a cut of the profits, of course. But rumor says it's way less than he usually takes. No one knows why. What I don't sell ends up in trawl. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. No, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Not that it's any of your business. But we're very close. We're in love. I refuse to let anything bad happen to her. No matter how much trouble she's gotten herself into. Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. I suspect I would enjoy the attempt much more than you would. The... the Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know... I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. Enjoy your stay. Okay, so we can... Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. <laughs> the tour would have been nice. Good. If you were, you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year. What a waste. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around well, here. Well, you need to deal with me. I wish that was the case. Fact of the matter is, we're barely treading water. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. 
You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Of course there are. But so far, Brayson has suppressed most of Good their work through pure jealousy. Or like in real life. I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. Oh, is this really what we're doing? Yes. I'm trying to be reasonable here. I wish I could. But if anybody found out, I told you. Look, I don't know why you're pushing me to talk about Miss Komiko's... Hope to see you again soon. Good thing to good thing to fail the discussion uh, role in a, in a last 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 possible moment. But we didn't even have a, anything that's actually improving our chances. I suppose this is. Yeah. What? Let me save you some time. Good. Look, I'm afraid that... I don't care if I'm alone. The conduction grid... At this point, the money we're taking... <laughs> You'd think that. The problem is that... I swear to you. None whatsoever. Look, I have a full report on... What do you think I... You know what? Hey, look. If there's anything else, as long as it doesn't get... Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. Okay, now I can actually roll the plus three. Not happening. Come on. I'm trying to help here. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me. But I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. <laughs> Who knows? Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Because I'm sick and tired of the corruption that's running through this city. I, I totally People around understand. People spend half their lives terrified about being backstabbed. And spend the rest of it planning on how they're going to screw over someone else. Something rotten is going on in this company. And one day, I hope to find out what it is. It was great speaking with you. I never had the patience for computer systems. So this is the opium den. What's up? 
Anything I can get to help you relax? No. Syndicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Genodyne? No, no, no. You don't just waltz in here and throw the Crimson Fleet onto the table without giving answers. If Delgado wants in, and I'm going to put my ass on the line, I want everything out in the open. So, let me get this straight. You want me to sneak you into Genodyne so you can steal the only profitable piece of technology the company's come up with in decades. Yep, about. If you expect me to take a risk like that, then it's going to cost you some major credits. Do you have any idea what Benjamin Bayou would do to me if he found out we were even having this conversation? If I'm going to let you into Genodyne, I need a backup plan. Namely, money to get off world fast. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, you do. Short of taking it off my dead body, which would never happen thanks to my Sioga buddies here, you don't pay, you don't get the pass. You've got yourself a deal. <laughs> okay. Here. Four take thousand. this pass. It should get you through the storage room and you to the facility. I'm warning you though, once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. Okay. That was hey there. easier than. Okay, and that's why they were angry last time I visited here. R&D. So this is basically like Nokia. Nokia who uh, develops stuff but doesn't use them for business. Old, old, old Nokia. How it how it how it actually was. Okay, let's check around storage storage. Okay, that's that was closed. So this is this is right right place has to be. I am glad we are on this side of the glass, for a variety of reasons. Yep. Now it's actually leading me. UI just, just doesn't like to work always. Looks like this goes up to another floor.
why not actually highlighting the mission important items is, is, is pretty, pretty, pretty big problem. Or the design should actually emphasize that this is the actual place you need to need to access because there's like batteries and stuff. Okay, here, 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 here he is. Oh, it's you. I was wondering how long it would take you to get down. Here. Why they always say if that? If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. No, no catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. Ah, okay. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. You should consider distancing yourself from your brother. Perhaps somewhere off-world. Yeah. That would be nice. If you are uncertain about your ability to best him in single combat, it is a reasonable alternative to consider. <laughs> you know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Because he's a two-faced son of a bitch, that's why. Yeah. That's not like I should be surprised. When we were younger, we, we never got along very well. I mean, he's 11 years older than I am. We had two different mothers. Okay. We well have been from two separate families. Do me a favor and don't tell my brother we talked. He, uh, wouldn't like it. kept you. I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Oh, I will. With or without your help. Okay. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? Okay, why? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. 
In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. That is an offer. Your negotiating skills are impressive indeed. It was me. It was Brazen Bayo. There's the Levine sent. Brazen? Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brazen. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. There's never a shortage of underlings and sycophants. But family is limited. He would do well she, to remember she that. She did it like that. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. Okay. You good? Oh, he, he or Glad she you're is. back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. So I've heard. Throwing Brayson under the bus like that. Ouch. That might help you sleep at night, but doesn't do me a hell of a lot of good. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. That's pretty cool of you to offer, but I know what he's gonna say. Sorry, Estelle. This was your scheme. You're on your own. <laughs> Believe well, that's a me, he's good not going to be much help. Imitation. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. Some small amount of compensation seems reasonable, given the circumstances. I appreciate that. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet stronger, you know? Well... How much uh, are you willing to part with? Wow, that's way more than I expected. I had no idea you'd be so generous. Yes, apparently we have lost our minds to your benefit. <laughs> All right, I <laughs> guess we're done here. Man, Tell man, Delgado small if he ever needs me for anything session. else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. Now, how did I know you were going to ask me that? Honestly, it doesn't matter if I believe that Crix's legacy exists or not. What's important is that I believe in Delgado. If the man thinks that chasing shadows is going to make us rich, then who the hell am I to judge, right? I mean, I'm not going to jump off a cliff for him or anything, but hey, he needs an extra ship at his side. He's got it. Tell Neva she still owes me a drink for our poker game. Okay. Ooh, velocity. 